concerned about beauty has gained so much focus and importance and it doesn't matter if you're male or female if you're from the americas asia europe africa it doesn't really matter beauty is almost like a focus of uh, self-esteem health and wealth and uh, feeling great about yourself so today i'm going to talk about radio frequency and also the steps how to do it properly and also what you can do internally because what you do internally it will affect the externally so let's get started right now very quickly my name is maria from vancouver canada for my subscribers i want to thank you so much for being there for me for supporting and of course subscribing and also sharing my information for the individuals that do not know me well i hopefully you will enjoy this tutorial and then you decide that you want to subscribe because you want to see my next tutorials if you have any concerns about your skin or anything that is private you can reach me on instagram and there is a link below uh, it is for you to be a little bit more open to me to send me pictures of uh, your skin if there's any concerns uh, so please do so uh, have you missed my uh, live webinar i am so much into health and wellness because whatever you see on the outside is what's happening internally especially if you have acne i have a tutorial about acne so please do look at it uh, if you have uh, um, concerns about fungal acne i have another tutorial about that now this tutorial that i'm going to be doing is going to be in different steps this one here is going to talk more about what radio frequency is the next one and i'm going to be doing on the face the step by step the next one is more going to be more on to the neck and the decollete and the third one is more about the contraindications and the, the mistakes radio frequency and please do not get it confused with a high frequency and i do have a tutorial about the high frequency the radio frequency, uh, it is, both of them, however, are uh, alternating currents and the frequency of the current will cause thermal uh, damage into the skin. And the alternating is 0.3 to 10 megahertz per second. And the frequency will cause the rising of the temperature inside the tissue. Uh, and it goes deep into the uh, dermis. So it does not affect the epidermis. Now, because it does not affect the epidermis, we don't see really what's happening, but there is a certain, this called a thermal damage. This thermal damage will stimulate the fibroblast, the little cells in the dermis, and these fibroblasts, sorry, will repair and firm up the uh, collagen fibers. This process um, uh, ca is called neocollagenesis. And uh, it is a good thing. However, if you overdo it, it will cause more damage. It will do the opposite. So how does it work? The advantage of using radio frequency is that it can be used in every single tone of skin. So from the lightest to the darkest. And the reason why is because the radio frequency goes deep into the skin uh, opposed to laser. Laser works more on the surface of the skin. So some tones or some color coloration, they cannot do laser because they might get some discoloration, light or dark spots. So radio frequency, it's a good treatment. However, it needs to be done correctly. And I will go more into detail uh, later on. I have a really good picture here that I want to share. And uh, so uh, this is, this has a picture here. This is a younger skin versus an older skin. And so you can see here in the older skin, the min oops, here we go, minimizing of the hyaluronic acid. You can see uh, the, uh, the collagen fibers and the elastic fibers getting quite different from the young to the old. And the radio frequency does not work on the outside. We have other things that we can do from the outside. The radio frequency works more in the inside of the dermis. However, something that's very important is that if you use the radio frequency too long, it will also minimize the hypodermis which is the fat tissue as i mentioned before is that 
Radio frequency is uh, done in uh, medical spas, so doctors are doing it, anesthetists are doing it, and also you can do it at home. Is there a difference? Absolutely. So if you're doing, if you're getting your treatment from a doctor, the treatment might cost two, three thousand dollars. And it's like, a, I'm sure you heard before, it's thermage, and there's different, actually different uh, uh, treatment that has radio frequency. Uh, and it's a little bit more evasive. The esthetician has also different machines. Uh, they're not as strong, but they do see good results. So you might want to go and get uh, one or two treatments here and there to an esthetician. And it's not as expensive, usually maybe 150 or $200 per treatment. Or you might decide that you want to go on Amazon, and this is one of the reasons why I'm doing this tutorial, and that you're going to buy yourself a nice little machine, and you're going to do it your own radio frequency treatments. So, and however, those machines are not as strong as the esthetician machine or the medical uh, machine. So let's uh, talk a little bit more about uh, what happens if you overwork it or if you overdo it. As I mentioned before, little bit is good. So it doesn't mean that if you do a lot, it's going to be better. Actually, you're going to cause more problems. Uh, you can cause uh, inflammation. You can cause a uh, tingling. You can cause a uh, swelling and redness and all that. And that's something that you don't want to do. This treatment you want to do it. Now we're going to talk about more about you doing it at home. You want to do this no more than once a month. Okay. If you overdo it, you are actually causing the opposite. Why? Is because uh, you, when you're doing neocollagenesis, it means stimulation of the collagen and uh, uh, all the stuff that is inside the dermis, you're causing thermal damage. And you need to allow the skin to repair itself. And when it repairs itself, because of the fibroblast, it will strengthen and it becomes nice and tight. But you need to give it time. So, staying under the wand, which is, this is the wand, too long, it will cause problems. We, we agree with that. Uh, two things could happen. One is that you are going to cause more inflammation of uh, the fibers. The collagen and the elastin and the second is that you're going to reduce some people say kill but reduce the amount of the fat cells in your skin and as you get older the fat cell starts to dissipate because of aging uh, if you have as I mentioned before like additional fat in this area you might want to do additional um, wanding but <laughs> but be very careful don't overdo it if it's hot move. If it gets too hot, please move to another area. So let's get started. There are a lot of machines in the industry and the one that I use for the aesthetics is uh, stronger um, and it's uh, sold to only estheticians. But for this purpose, I have one that is uh, pretty good. It's not as strong as my professional one, but it has. Uh, you have to be very careful that you don't overuse it. This machine has uh, an on and off button and has an intensity, uh, uh, one to five, so it's quite good. And it has a little wand, and it looks pretty professional. I, I, it, it works quite good. So I am going to show you exactly how I want you to do your radio frequency. So let's get started. The first thing that I like you to apply on your skin is uh, a hyaluronic. Um, I have here from Eminence, but uh, um, The Ordinary also has one that's quite good, so I have a link below. And uh, you want to apply, so you want to get a few drops. Okay, so you put a few drops. And I'm going to do one side, okay? And uh, you want to apply it. Uh, and remember, hyaluronic is in the skin. Okay, so you want to apply it, and today I'm going to do it uh, only on uh, my face. And I'm going to do half of my face with no current <laughs> because I don't want to do one side and not the other side. Uh, so I'm going to apply the hyaluronic, which is very good for your skin. Hyaluronic is right into inside your dermis. So apply it thin evenly all over the place, your hyaluronic. And then you, I use a silhouette tone uh, 
uh, product, which is a gel. And uh, they have different kinds here. But you can use uh, aloe gel, okay? And you apply throughout. Don't apply it too much because if you do, you get all gummy. Just enough that you can uh, slide and the, the gel keeps the uh, surface, the surface of the skin, the epidermis, nice and cool. Okay, so once I, I warm this, my tissue up, now I'm going to show you the 12 steps. So whatever I do, so I do this side and of course I do this side. But for time's sake, I'm going to do only one side. So step number one, you want to do the chin. And you can go the other way if you want to. Now, I have no current right now. And the reason why is because I'm doing half of the treatment. And remember, as a reminder, you need to do this no more frequent than once a month or maybe three weeks, every three weeks. You have other treatments that you can do, like the microneedling. Microneedling is also very good. Once you do this and you start feeling warm, not hot, okay? Now you want to go around the lips. Now here we have a muscle called the orbicularis oris. And, and you can go backwards. One way and the other way. And remember that this one here is also very good. Feeling hot now. I don't have no current. But if you're feeling hot, now you go to the next one. So that's movement number two. And I said to you I have ten of them. The next one that I'd like you to do is this one like this on the chin and and you want to do it a couple of times. Now I'm just going to do it only uh, just a couple of times. So if you start feeling warm, now you want to kind of stop. Hmm? Okay, the next one that is very good is just right underneath the zygomatic bone right in here and you go like this. Like that circle and like this because I want to work also on the marionette lines. You see the lines that go down here like this. And as you start feeling, see I'm going quite slow. And as you start feeling warm, like a nice, nice, nice warmth. Now you're going to move to the next step. So what we've done here around the lips, right in here and then just below the uh, zygomatic bone. So now, after I did the uh, underneath the zygomatic, I want to do around my eyes, so don't go right on the eyes, right on the orbital bone, here, okay? So you go right in here, and then lift. Here, and then lift, so, okay? And you want to do it several times, until you start getting nice and pink. Pink is good, okay? And I usually say about seven, eight times in the same area. So then you can go the other side or continue to the next one. Okay. Now the next one here is right in here. Continuation of the one around the eyes for the little wrinkles around the eyes. Please don't go over what, your eyeball. Don't go there, okay? And now I continue. Oh, you see, I my, my gel is starting to dry. So I will get some more gel in a second. Okay, forehead here. Okay, so this one here was from here and on right there. He, right around the orbital bone here and then right on top of the eyebrow because you want to have the eyebrow lift. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then you can start going in this area here like this and you follow through right onto your forehead. Now the part, so this one you can stop here, but now I'm going to concentrate more on the marionette lines, uh, on the wrinkles around the eyes and the nasal labial fold. And the one that I want to work quite a bit is the masseter muscle right in here, even though it does not really work on the muscle, but the skin is attached onto the muscle. So I really want to work in this area here. So I start 
Okay, so that means from the jawline all the way up to the zygomatic bone. Yes. And do it in the same area, seven, eight, ten times. You have to feel, when you start feeling that's getting pretty warm, then you stop. Okay. Now, the next one that I really like, that is for the nasal labial fold. And you want to go here and out. From here and out. Yes, this is for the nasal labial fold. So it's from right in this area here, you go right where the fold is and right underneath your bone. And continue that. Okay, yes. And it's almost like a little bit of lymph drainage. What am I working on right now? The marionette lines that is happening right as you get older the little thing falling down here and you don't want that okay <laughs> and so remember you can do half the face and then do the other half or just alternate the next one that i want to work on is around here yes a little bit more why is because for me that's my problem area I'm getting older all over, but this is a mainly problem area for me. Okay, right underneath the eye, but don't go near the eyeball, no. And another area that we all get, this is the last one, is right underneath the chin. And this is actually one that I do quite a bit and then drain, yes. Because it's a little bit lymph drainage too. And that's it. And then we're done. So if you feel that you want to do a little bit more, you can kind of do a little bit more and you can go the other side. I have no gel on this side and you can continue. Now, how long should the treatment take both sides with a neck? I would say about half hour, no longer than half hour. Well, I am so excited that I am going to, after, after this tutorial, I am going to pull my hair back and I'm going to do my treatment because I am so excited about this machine and I know that it works because I usually do it uh, about every month and I alternate it with microneedling and I do have a tutorial on microneedling so go and check it out. So I do this in microneedling and also I have good skincare, the NRF2. And I do have a link below. NRF2 rejuvenates the skin from within. So if you do all these treatments, radio frequency, and you do microneedling, and you use the NRF2 skincare, your skin will rejuvenate. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Look for my neck one. <laughs> okay, look at it because I'm going to create it uh, next week. And uh, do take care of yourself, not only externally, but also internally. Eat properly. Take care, and I look forward in talking with you very, very soon.